Getting back to the requirement for a Bill of Rights, you know, the, the notion that we need this to protect against government <laughs> tyranny, uh, and to get back to national security. Uh, in your book, you have an essay that came out about a year after the Patriot Act uh, was passed, or soon thereafter, uh, <coughs> saying, you know, I, I saw this coming, and uh, it's, it's, for this moment, I think, is an acceptable trade-off of liberty and security. Ten years on, do you still see that trade-off being worthwhile? Uh, not the Patriot Act as it was written. I, I also have an essay later on saying uh, parts of this were supposed to expire. We, we were supposed to really rethink it. The Patriot Act at its best was an emergency response to an emergency. Uh, and and the, the heart of it as, as sold to the public and maybe to me uh, was uh, we have to do something about uh, you know, telephones. People, people are using cell phones uh, to commit crimes, and so we need to make it easier for the FBI to go after them when they have five different phones, one after another, et cetera. They shouldn't have to get a separate warrant each time. Um, uh, look, I think we, we learn from experience, and uh, what we've learned is that the Patriot Act has been used in some ways which are chilling. Uh, uh, and, and are, in my view, dangerous. Uh, and therefore, that, you know, as a policy matter, but put aside the ACLU suit, mm -hmm. but as a policy matter, we ought to have another look and see if we really need to go this far uh, uh, into what otherwise would have been our privacy, our liberties, our speech rights, and the like to protect national security. And I would think that, I don't think the government can make that case. There's no doubt it is a public good to have the discussion we've been having about privacy versus national security and just how far the government can properly go with respect to innocent, unsuspected Americans in tracing their activities. Uh, and and that, that is only to the good. And I think that, that, you know, from some of the people in Washington, who are acting as if the very fact of the debate, even though they say they welcome it, uh, uh, is, is wrong-headed, uh, that they're wrong.